Round two of the Singapore Karting Championship saw the Changi Karting Circuit hit by torrential rain and lightning, resulting in a four-hour delay as officials waited for the weather to clear. When the track was finally open, the circuit was now slick and offered some serious driving challenges. The cadet category saw some close racing with Alex Brown emerging the victor in the finals after not finding kart performance in round one. Samuel Austin battled with Jaden Jin for position before taking second place with Jaden moving into third. Didn't get a penalty, didn't crash. So it's a good race, all in all. Good. It was really tough because I had Jaden behind me, pushing me the whole time. I could see him after like every corner. I was being held up by um, Sam. I'm like very scared that other people might just catch up with me. The juniors faced changing track conditions as the race went on, with Rory Elliott staging a comeback to take pole position after suffering a DNF in round one. Glenn Chum and Havia Chung once again battled for position, with Glenn edging ahead to take second place, leaving Havia in third. It went all right. I mean, it was a bit of a big gamble on the tires as at the start of the race it was wet and towards the end it was getting dry. Hopefully I can continue up this top form and try to gain back the points I lost in the previous race. The race has been good all along and JV overtook me because my tires wasn't warm up yet. But I overtook him back and uh, the half-lock happened. All the overtaking lines were covered and I was stuck behind Roy. So I tried really my best but after a while at, at the last lap, Glenn, Glenn, Glenn found a way and passed me. Yeah, so I came in there. In the senior category, Amin Nozilan took Auto Inc Racing's first podium of the weekend with his victory. With teammate Teddy Lee experiencing a race ending mechanical failure, which resulted in Amin overtaking him in the final stages of the race. Ben Chen came in second while Randall Ng took third. I did some quite rash moves on people and the front two uh, drivers were fighting and me and Fedis managed to cut through the gap. But in the last few laps of the race, his engine died and um, he handed me the win for the race. Uh, the race was very tricky at the start because uh, there's still some puddle around. At the first corner, I lose out a bit because I didn't know he was slippery at the area and then I mean, or Thaddeus managed to get past and I started following them. Uh, kind of unexpected because at that turn there, I got like, uh, I go too wide and three cars overtake me from there and I can't catch up. The master category was once again one to watch as Kenneth Smith from Veritas managed to move up from second place on the grid to take the race win, beating out David Bondi, an SKC newcomer who displayed great tenacity and skill. Close behind in third place was John Gore who enjoyed a solid race weekend. Dave Bondi from GP Racing, you know, he got off to a very good start, uh, he qualified one and then in the pre-final, you know, he won that one and he drove very, very well, so again, I had to start from second, but uh, I was patient, you know, I believed in the pace that we had, so, you know, our team of mechanics at Veritas have done a great job, so we're very happy. A bit unfortunate, really, I think Ken Smith from Veritas Racing there definitely had more pace than me, so uh, once he passed, I thought, okay, we'll have a go, see if we can fight, but... Uh, it was quite obvious I couldn't, so the main thing then was to defend second, which uh, I think went pretty well and uh, yeah, brought it home. It was good. I think it was uh, quite an exciting race because uh, early in the day we had rain, so we did the pre-finals on wets, so finals in dry. Something uh, totally new for us, for me. A uh, uh, kind of damp race with uh, slick tyres, so it's exciting. Got a third. Yesterday I uh, did a fourth, so I'm pretty stoked. In the afternoon, Minister Teo Luck, the Minister of State for the Ministry of Trade and Industry and also the Mayor of Northeast District, graced the circuit to officially open the Changi Karting Circuit and the opening race weekend. The Minister was taken on a tour of the circuit and its facilities before being ushered to the start line where he waved the green flag to commence the veteran finals. The final category of the day belonged to the veteran class where a large multi-kart crash left many drivers in disarray. Fortunately, SKC rookie Michael Robson was able to pull through and take the win. Meanwhile in second, Leon Ku fought hard to stay ahead of an agile Duncan Nursey, who managed to come back from 12th position to take third place. Alright, it was uh, I had the pace, uh, Leon was in front of me, um, wasn't really making any ground on him until he hit a back marker and uh, he kind of slowed down for the back marker and stayed behind him in the corner and it just took my opportunity to go on to the inside. Yeah, I'm really happy, really happy. Everything goes well. Except uh, Duncan Nasi was uh, at the back, very near to me. If uh, another two laps, uh, you'll be 
probably overtake me and I will lose my second position. Well, um, I started in 12th, so I wasn't really expecting much, but uh, took good advantage of the, the crash on the first corner, picked the lines right, um, made up a good few positions and ended up in third. So I'm very pleased with that, <laughs> extremely pleased. I wasn't expecting that at all, so really good. in its fourth year as a national series, the SKC has started its 2013 season with a bang. With rounds three and four taking place in early June, we can only wait and see what this field of talented teams and drivers will bring.